How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? All right. What's Alec doing? He had to find his hat. He won't go into Walmart without a hat. Hey, Alec. Hey, Alec. Hey, Alec. He's getting all purdy. There he is. He found his hat. How'd you sleep, Alec? Good until you woke me up. Hmm. I see. Here we are. The palatial Walmart parking lot. Oh, this coast is beautiful. Let's go down here and check it out. Well, it's surprising how clear the water is in these pools here. The tide is still receding. We're not marine biologists, but we thought these were cool. <laughs> They're very cool. They look like flowers. Yeah. It's low tide, so we're out on the rocks. Let's go out to those pools out there. There's Lori. What up, Alec? Some weird circular donut thing. Yeah. We're out here in the pool where the low tide is occurring. All the See all the muscles, yeah, or whatever they are, on the rocks. I don't think you'd want to get trapped out here when the tide comes in. Pasta salad. What time is it? Chicken. It's Ten fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind is it? We're eating a very early lunch. We're hungry, so. We uh, we boiled up the noodles and everything a few days ago, so everything has kind of just been sitting in the fridge ready to go. Yeah, in these bags. We got uh, chicken, egg, bacon, of course. I mean, you can't have pasta salad without bacon. And it's actually fried chicken. It's not just regular chicken. It's fried chicken and, uh, and noodles. Man, that, that coast right there. It's pretty amazing. awesome, huh? Yes, it is. Where are we at anyway? We're just we're just uh, south of Crescent City, right? In the Redwood, one of the scenic Redwood drives. It's out here at this cliff. Beautiful. We're going to see a tree. It's called Big Tree. Yeah, I so think it's big. We found Big Tree. And it's a big tree. That is a big tree. Pretty sure it's pretty big. I mean, just look at the people down there. I mean, that, that's, that is a massive tree. It's such a big tree, they put a deck, a big deck around the big tree. I wonder if they used deck sealant. I bet they deck, did. Deck sealant. Deck sealant, yeah. yeah. Around the big tree. I wonder if they made the deck out of redwood. I doubt it. I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> By the way, this tree is 1,500 years old. Keeps going. Man. We are in need of showers. So, we're gonna try to sneak our way into a campground that is over here and try to get a shower. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens because I have no idea. They may catch us, they may not. Who they knows? Won't. They won't. But they overcharge here and they're packed. So, don't feel too bad about it. All right, we got our showers. Um, we did have to pay the showers with pay at the shower, so we had to get some change. I took a shower for what would it be seventy-five cents. It was a dollar. It was a minute, a quarter. So and they got a shower for I think a dollar twenty-five because they went together, parents. But anyways, it was pretty good, except for their shower drain didn't work and they dropped some of their clothes in the water. So, they had to get new clothes. But anyways, other than that, it was great. We are standing outside of Lady Bird Johnson Dude, isn't Grove. isn't it amazing how much cooler it is here than it is right over there in the sun? I know. I mean, I'm, I'm it's cold actually cold. Here, yeah. And over in the sun, I was sweating. I know. It's I mean, that big of a difference. So, it, it just, it's crazy. So, you know? so, anyways, in the shower, I got my shoes all wet. So, now, now you're wearing, wearing, wearing Crocs. Crocs. Yeah. 
so I get to be like the standard tourist here. <laughs> uh, I got the camera in my hand and Crocs. That's it. So you're looking good. You thanks. got the uniform on. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. You see that? If you look at the top of that tree right there. The top it split off into two because it, uh, it broke off. So those trees just live on. Amazing. Nothing stops them, dude. Nothing. Not even fire. If you look at like that one there, that one burnt. A bunch of them have, you know, charred marks all over them from where they were burnt. And they just keep living. Look at this one. It's half hollow and it just keeps going, dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this one was burnt badly. It must have been struck by lightning, maybe. I mean, look at it. It's... And it's... I got a giant canopy on it, and it's basically three quarters of the way gone, and it's burnt out in the middle. Nothing stops them, man. They're just amazing. Now, when have they been around for a thousand years? We are on our way to a super target. Never been in a super target before, but we're going to find out what a super target is like. Looks the same as a normal target, except for they have these weird pole things with vines on them. Or whatever. That's weird. What up? What'd you think of the Super Walmart? Did you just well, I don't know, because I wasn't at Super, Super Walmart. Walmart. I'm in a Super Target. It was, it was really not very super. No. All I saw that was different was I think there were some TVs in the back. Yeah, and there has a little bit more food, but I mean, it wasn't any that much different than the regular Target that we have at home. So I, I, I don't know. know what's so super about it. I mean, I think it might have been a little bit bigger, maybe yeah, a more maybe. A larger selection of stuff. I don't know. I guess. But that, does it make it super though? No, I don't think you it get does. A little more stuff. Do you, do you, I mean, if Superman was really just a little bit stronger than he, a normal guy, would he really be Superman? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think he'd be like moderate man or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. He'd be uh, just a little stronger man. Yeah, man, like maybe yeah. muscle man or Almost something. Almost a half of a Superman. Okay, we're running this joke into the ground. Yeah. Okay. We're making some food. This is kind of a. It's a sketchy area. We're feeling very uncomfortable. Uh, we just went we, through Eureka. Yeah, we went through like a marina area and it was all homeless people and stuff. And It's like a homeless village. Yeah. And we're try we tried to find some water. Uh, we have to bleach our containers because um, one of the water bottles had some funky stuff growing in it. It looked like a mold, but not really a mold. It was kind of just floating. It was like algae. So we're going to have to bleach all our containers, but we can't find water anywhere because it's California and as you know, I guess they're, you know, they're water shortage, so. Well, and it's not really friendly to campers here. Yeah. So, so. anyways, we'll try to, we'll it try to get it, make it some sandwiches, some lunch meat, sandwiches on some French bread, or that's not French bread, but sourdough, yeah. something or other. Sourdough. All right, so we're looking for a place to camp. Uh, we can't stay at any any place in town because the town is really sketchy. A lot of homeless people walking around. We didn't feel comfortable, so we're driving around. We just got off at Avenue of the Giants, I guess. Yep. And we're going to look and see if there's any forest service roads. There probably won't be because uh, it looks like a fairly small park. But, you know, we'll try. I mean... What's the worst that could happen? Don't want to say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> we are having trouble finding a campsite to camp at. It is currently 8.49 p.m. and we haven't found a camp yet. So it's gonna get dark soon. We're trying to find maybe a Walmart or something, but the nearest Walmart's like 80 miles away. Yeah, not a lot of uh, public land that's campable yeah. in California. California yeah. sucks for that. Oregon is beautiful for that. This place, not so beautiful with that. Yeah, especially towards the coast. Yep. So now it is 9.42. Still haven't found a campsite. Yeah, California uh, sucks for um, outback camping, I can tell you that. 
Yeah, we had no idea it was going to be like this. We didn't do our research. Yeah, so we're going to probably continue on driving. It's also going to suck if we do find a camp spot because it is July 4th. And people are setting off a ton of fireworks, so we probably wouldn't have got a whole lot of sleep anyways in a tent. But, hopefully we find something. Yep. Oh, man. Hmm. Great. Well, I at least have somewhere to sleep. Yes. What time is it? It's like a quarter to ten or something. Mm-hmm. Let's see. These sites are pretty expensive, but we don't really have any other option, and it's a little noisy here. But it's the, like the most expensive campground we've been to. But we're gonna pop the tent open and go to bed. So this is good night for tonight. <laughs>